Hi, welcome to another edition of Business Bites from Bauer Media here in Northern Ireland. My name is David Tai, the Managing Director of Bauer Media, and each week we delve into the world of what's happening, especially around the area of business, arts, and entertainment. Well, this week, it's my pleasure to bring you uh, Ian Wilson, who's the Managing Director of IBC Music. And uh, Ian, you're very welcome to Business Bites. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Well, it's great to have you with us, Ian. And uh, let's let's get into a conversation about IBC Music and about uh, yourself, Ian. So, first of all, for the people that don't know, break it down. IBC Music, what is it, and uh, how did you get from the very very beginnings to where you are today? Okay, IBC Music is basically an international matchmaker. Is probably the best way of putting it where we match guitar brands, ukulele brands from around the world, and we find the right manufacturing partners for them. That can be in the UK, across Europe, in the US, across Asia. And we man- manage the whole process from start to finish for those companies and supply them generally container loads of guitars, ukuleles, cases, stands, all that kind of stuff, everything around around the music world. And then for some of those customers, they also ask us to help them with their international sales and marketing. So we act as a consultant to help them develop their business around the world. And that's actually how I got into the business initially in 1993, I started. So just coming up to my 30th year anniversary in the business. And I started with Loudon Guitars, of course, the most famous brand uh, in Northern Ireland of guitars. I was there from 93 to 2006 as their international sales manager and then set up my own business in 2006. Uh, IBC Music came uh, later, a lot later in 2019, we started and um, that side of the business has been running very well since. Well, interesting story. So let me just, for the uninitiated, and you can count me in on that. I love my music. I don't think about actually too much about how I how that how, how that music gets manufactured and produced. I just either like it or I don't like it when I listen to it. Um, what a heathen! But um, so to get this straight, you are working with the brands that that are behind the instruments, and you are finding the you're finding the raw materials to make these instruments. Is that right? No, we're finding the right factories to have the instruments made from start to finish for right. those brand, for those brands. Okay, okay. So and you're sourcing that. Uh, you're sourcing the source, if you like, for for these instruments. Right. So we're right. acting as, as a service partner for them to manage the whole process in between, and that's mainly because of our expertise in manufacturing and our expertise right across the world and dealing with many brands for many years. Wow. Okay. So that's really, really interesting. And uh, as part of this, uh, recently, IBC Music has uh, has picked up an award for the work that it's doing. So just tell us a little bit about how that happened and what the award was. The award initially, we applied for the King's Award or the Queen's Award for Enterprise, uh, and when Her Majesty passed, that changed to the King's Award um, for Enterprise, and we were very surprised in April of this year. Um, to learn that we had in fact won and uh, last week in fact I was just at the palace um, with King Charles and Prince Edward and Sophie uh, at a reception um, great event uh, probably one of a lifetime opportunity um, and for us as a small company to be there with 147 other businesses around the UK was really a great honor. And there were only actually three companies in Northern Ireland that won an award this year. So we truly honored to to be amongst those three and 147 across the UK. Yeah, as uh, you mentioned, there are only three three companies in this part of the world that, that were recognized for that. So tell us about the background to, to why you believe that you got that award. Tell us a little bit about that. That the, the award was effectively for the growth of the business from 2019 through the difficult times of the pandemic. And naturally, a lot of people were, people would say, well, you started a business in 2019, not the best time to start because the pandemic started in 2020. Sure. People were home. They had uh, pandemic and furlough money. 
Um, they had nothing else to do. So there was a major, major boom at that time in all types of hobbies, including learning guitar, ukulele, electronic drums, things like that. And we started the business from scratch and hit that wave very, very quickly through the pandemic. And we're able to grow the business from nothing up to three and a half million in three years, um, which is uh, a pretty steep growth curve and required a lot of a lot of work from the very small team that we have. Well, it's a great story, um, and congratulations to you and and the team. In a world where uh, all we hear about is uh, we seem to be hearing more and more about technology and artificial intelligence. There's something quite refreshing about the idea that the people are still making guitars and ukuleles around the world. Have you seen, um, have you seen, um, obviously the figures would suggest <laughs> there's a resurgence again, or, or there was never, there was never a negative part of the, the, uh, the, the demand for guitars and, and such like, but how do you see the sort of traditional manufacturing of these instruments and then the sort of technological advances on the other side of the equation? Has it affected Anything or how does that look to you? AI hasn't really affected us much yet, but I mean, we have and have for many years embraced technology and CNC machinery for making necks or parts in, uh, of guitars. Um, but a lot of it is still very much hands-on, skill labor, um, getting down and dirty and, uh, and making the instruments from, from start to finish. So yes, we, I mean, there are, technological advances there are, and there are trends in music industry ukuleles are down right now acoustic guitars are down but electric guitars are back up again and that is a result of the live scene starting again um nobody really wanted to blast an electric guitar in their home and um, which during the pandemic now people can play live music again in bars or on stages or we've just had glassmanry and a number of large events happening across the UK, even Balsonic in Belfast. So it's great to see all those things coming back again. Uh, and as a result, electric guitar has picked back up. So it's really swings and roundabouts. One goes down, the other goes up, and uh, you just have to move and uh, move with the times and be aware of what's happening. Well, it's good to know that there's still an, the next generation of of uh, bedroom guitar heroes uh, is still intact. Uh, I tried it when I was about eleven with Paul Weller, trying to be like Paul Weller. But um, uh, it's good good to hear from your commentary that um, yeah, I mean, of course, of course, you're competing all the time with you know PS, you know, computers and iPads yeah. for kids and all that kind of stuff. But there's still a desire out there to to play music, which is great. Fantastic. And where do you see the future for IBC Music? Looking ahead, what's what's on the horizon? What's down the line? Well, like everybody in the sort of luxury side of the world, if you like, we've been hit a little bit by the um, cost of living crisis as it is with mortgages and gas and electric prices going up. However, I look at I very much a glass half full guy or completely full. And I look at the size of the world market and there are about six million guitars sold every year uh in across the world and we supplied probably forty thousand of those so there's a long way to go uh, well, to pick up, <laughs> pick up new business so uh that's a great I, way to look at it i kind of look at it and go okay if we can just concentrate on getting another forty thousand, and then another forty thousand, you know we'll we'll grow the business very well that's a great that's a great way to look at it. Well, Ian, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and I wish you and all the team at IBC Music uh, the very best into the future. Congratulations on on that award. And my final question for you is do you play the guitar? I do play the guitar, but I would certainly not call myself a guitarist. Uh, maybe you need to buy a few new ones then from uh, I know someone who can help uh, help help manufacture them. Yeah. Um listen, Ian, been great to chat with you. Thanks for being our guest this week. My pleasure.